We have a WordPress website backed by WooCommerce and if you're listing out your products physical or digital then it makes sense to list your products in a base currency or a base price depending on where you are and in most cases your website could be listing your products in dollars. If you were to showcase this particular page that you're looking at on the screen, we had a use case where you had to show multiple currencies. Then in the case of WooCommerce backed e-commerce websites, you would have to use what is called as a currency switcher or a plugin that enables you to show or display prices in multiple currencies. In my case, I have two specific currencies that I need to display my prices for WooCommerce. There are several WooCommerce extensions that allow you to do this. In my case, I'm using price based on currency for WooCommerce, the one that you're looking at on the screen. You can start with it for free. For basic purposes, this will do. For this plugin to work, all you need to do is download and activate this plugin on your WordPress dashboard. Initially, this is how your product page will look like. All of the prices for the products are in US dollars. So if you look at the store now, you will actually notice that the products are now displayed in Indian currency equivalent. This is what the plugin helps you achieve. For anybody looking at this particular store from outside of the country, this is how it's going to look like. For anybody looking at it from India, this is how it's going to look like. But for the plugin to work, you need to ensure that you have what is also called as MaxMind. So you go to MaxMind.com, sign up and create an account. You have access license keys. On the left side panel, if you click on manage license keys or an API key, plugin will ask for the MaxMind key API key. Copy that API key from here. And once you do that, it starts working. This is where the plugin is. If you go into settings, you'll have pricing zones. I'm taking a simple example of two currencies here. One is US dollar. The other is the Indian rupee. For the whole world, when they look at my store, they're going to look at the product price in US dollars. Only for India, they're going to look at Indian rupee. And for that reason, I created one pricing zone here. I call it India. I enabled it, included the countries as India alone. Check out the description below for more resources. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. This is Ash from Fetch Profits signing out.